Hi, in this video, I'll talk to you about uh, chi-square test for independence. So chi-square test for independence is used to compare two categorical variables. In the last few videos, we saw how to compare, you know, two samples, uh, like for continuous variables, but you can also compare two samples uh, or two fields, which are categorical in nature. So when we have categorical nature or variable, so the normality assumption does not play a role. Uh, but to understand this, we'll take an example. That's the best way of, to understand the concept. Uh, the idea is very simple to compare two categorical variable and to establish whether they are independent or not. We'll take a data set from this library mass. Uh, we'll take a built-in data set called survey. So let me show you this, uh, sorry. Uh, here also is fine. Um, okay, so this is how the data set looks like, as you can see below. So it's, uh, the data set has, uh, you know, the list of students and their different habits, different information. But what we're most interested in is to know whether uh, the smoking habit of students um, is related to the level of exercise they're doing. Okay, and both variables are categorical nature. As you can see for exercise, you have like some exercise, non-exercise, frequently exercising. And then smoking, never smoking, regularly smoking, occasionally smoking. So that's also a categorical variable. So if you want to compare both, which are categorical nature, we want to use chi-square uh, test of independence. The null hypothesis here is that the variables are independent. The alternative hypothesis is that the variables are not independent. And we want to test it at 95% confidence uh, level. That means if P value is less than 0.05, uh, which is at 95% confidence level, then we will reject the null hypothesis. Okay. Otherwise we will accept the uh, null hypothesis. All right, so before that, let's uh, tabulate. Let's uh, do a cross tabulation of these two categorical variables. Cross tabulation helps a lot to understand the distribution of the data across these different categories, right? So this is also called contingency table, right? Here you have the uh, exercise level and smoking habits. Okay, so without, uh, you know, obviously we can make some, uh, Conclusion: We can draw some conclusion out of analyzing the contingency table, but what's important is to statistically uh, knowing actually whether the two variables are independent or not. And for that, we what we'll do is that we will use chi square test. Um, so this contingency table, I'll just put it in a, in a variable x tab. So that I'll run, and then I use chi square c h i s q dot test. Very simple syntax, and then uh, as a parameter, just provide x star, which is the variable uh, where you have the contingency table or the cost tabulation. Okay, so this is this goes as uh, the parameters to the test. Okay, let's uh, run this. Um, okay, so this is Pearson chi square test, and the, the, the p value is 0 0.482, 4828, that means which is greater than 0 0.05. So we accept the null hypothesis right we do not reject the null hypothesis so the null hypothesis was that uh, the variables or the two fields um, are independent and we accept that uh, if the p-value uh, was uh, less than 0.05 then we would have rejected that we would have rejected the hypothesis that the two variables are independent so that's the way you can establish the the independence between two categorical variables. So every time you want to compare two categorical variables, whether they come from the same distribution or different distribution, whether any, any related or not, you can always use chi-square test of independence to establish uh, that relationship and draw conclusion from it.